Hello everybody, welcome back. C Ray Tech here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how you can increase your flight time on your Hubson H501S. So to start, what I did is I went out and I purchased a parallel cable. And it's pretty simple after that. Um, I already had two aftermarket these are Blue Mickey, I think is how you pronounce it. 7.4 volt, 27,000 milliamp hour batteries. I don't, I'm not sure the C rating. I think these might be 30 C. So what we're going to do is, we'll pop open the back. We're going to slide our first battery in. And we're going to take our second battery. We're going to strap it underneath it. I like this Velcro sticky, or it's not sticky, but it's just cable tie Velcro. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So, unfortunately, weather here has been terrible. I haven't been able to get outside too much to fly. And when the weather was nice, I hadn't received this yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten that down there. Make sure it's not moving anywhere. All right. So then now what I found the easiest thing to do is first plug in to the quad itself. And then what we're going to do is fold it up inside so it's going to actually feed into between the compass and the GPS and the board itself so we're just going to push that in there just kind of get that out of the way sorry it's a lot more difficult with the camera so once we get that shoved in there a little bit easier. Now I'm not overly concerned with notching the battery door out because I haven't even gotten to fly this thing yet. But what we're going to do is see what we got here. Is reading at 8.2 volts currently. I'll just show you guys that. So now theoretically I should get another I would say 10 minutes of flight time. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus or not for you. There we go. So hopefully with this I can exceed the 20 minutes that I have been getting. Um, be nice for some maybe some longer range flights that I'm planning on doing once the weather gets a lot better. So I hope this was helpful. I'm going to have a link to the parallel cable that I bought in the description. And stay tuned for more videos. And remember to like and subscribe. I hope everyone has a good one.